Anthony, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming to you from New Camp RV today to show you how the Tab 320s are built. For more information on these campers or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. But let's get on to this tour. So the Tab 320 line, a line of its own, and as you can see, they set it up here where they have the, they're going to start with the frame and putting the floor and attaching that to the frame itself. You can see they have the axles down here, the tires and so forth. From here, what they're going to do, they're going to be taking this particular section here and flipping it over to put it on here. But now one thing I want to point out about the floor for the Tab 320, because it is unlike some of the others that are on the market. They're using composite paneling on both sides of the aluminum frame construction there for the floor. In between the aluminum, you're going to have insulation. So you actually have some insulation properties. From there, they also put in, as you can see, the wood in the framing so that way there when they're screwing things to the floor it has something to bite on. Now once they put it on this table it's going to be upside down and that is so as you can see they're going to be able to put on the things that are on the bottom of here and that is as you can see of course the stabilizers for your spare tire bracket, your axle, your front tongue, all that is put on while it's sitting on this table here. Once it's put all over here, that's when they're going to go ahead and put in the flooring color that they need, as well as the wheel wells, and start some of the plumbing and so forth. So that is what is done in this particular location. Now, as I had mentioned when we were up top there, is they're putting the cabinets and so forth on, on the conveyor, well, on this elevator here, they're able to drop that down, everything else is built upstairs, and then they're able to go ahead and start putting it together. As you can see, the sidewalls are brought in over here, and then of course from there they're going to be put on to the camper. Now the nice thing with this sidewalls on these campers is the fact that the interior wall, as well as the exterior wall, have Asdale. It's a composite material. Now on the outside, of course, you're going to have the fiberglass adhered to Asdale. The benefit to you for, with Asdale, it's lighter weight, it has an insulation property, will not absorb water, and it's, it's like I say, 50% lighter than Luon. So it's going to give you a longer lasting uh, RV. So as you can see, now they're starting to put the cabinets together with the walls and things start being put in place. So you see the outside shower, your plug, they're gonna go ahead and do it, they're gonna pressurize with some air pressure to make sure that things are pressurized right, make sure they don't have any leaks. And you see they start putting things together. Plumbing's in place, electrical starting to be put in place, refrigerator's in place. As you see, this is where your refrigerator vents to the outside. And as I had mentioned, so this is where you're going to fill up. This will be for your uh, the fluid for your Aldi system. That is, it's kind of like the same thing for a radiator fluid for your vehicle. And of course, the Aldi system is right up underneath here, very easily accessible. And you can see your uh, low point drains, your drain valve, everything is accessible for you, and very easily to uh, to get to. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Now, once they get all the cabinets and then they put the roof on, then what you're going to be doing is they have, as you can see, they have little insulation panels that are already cut out and they're going to be put in between all the different slats. Then it, it's going to get this wrap material here. That's an additional insulation uh, factor for you. From there, what they're going to be doing is pulling, as you can see, they have the sheets of the aluminum and you're going to have one piece of aluminum pulled all the way over top of from the front here all the way to the back on an S and then on the CS it'll be a little different. 
as you can see on the CS, it's going to have to stop where you're going to have your door opening for your kitchen on the outside. You see they have the window in, you have your AC cut out up top there. Portal window for the bathroom. It's all right here. Now, of course, the door frame is put in. You get the rubber in for the front window. You get the countertop. And you can see things are starting to come together for you. So now, for those of you that may not have known this, so what you have here, you see these vents here? This is an actual vent. That's for your gray tank. Up in the front, that is your vent for the black tank, as you can see right here. This is a vent for your black tank. And of course, you have your Aldi system vent back there, outside shower, um, your sewer hookup, all that right there. This is a little peek inside here. You see you have the um, little radiator from your Aldi system to give you some nice heat, and that'll radiate up underneath, um, out through the floor, as you can see on the, on the side of your camper there as long as well as the back there so this is the inside getting together finishing things finishing touches now for those of you that have the um, the inside kitchen you're gonna have the uh, black tank vent will be on the roof instead of on the side and your gray tank uh, vent will be on the side itself so that's something a little bit different than the ones that have the outside kitchen. You have the outside kitchen, both of those vents will be on the side wall. Now for the front, you have the choice of getting, you can get a colored uh, type plastic, uh, you want to call it a tub for your propane, your battery, or you could choose to get the boondock style which is, as you can see, the rock guard looking stuff. Also on top of that, you could choose to get, if you wanted to, the boondock front platform, which would come with the, what they call the generator tray. Now because in the event that you, let's say we put the platform on this particular uh, tab 320 that does not put your spare tire up here, your spare tire will stay, in, stay where it, it is normally located. So your spare tires are located up in the back. A little bit easier to see it on the ones that are not the, uh, have the rear kitchen. As you can see, because it curves up, but the spare tire will be back here on that particular model. So as they're moving down the track, as you see, again, they're on those wheels, which makes it really nice, makes it easy. They're starting to put things together. Everything's getting finished off. Just doing the last little trim work. So when it gets to this point, what they're doing is they have a lift and they're able to lift this thing up, putting something on the tongue and then the back here, and they're able to work up underneath to make sure that they get the plumbing and the trim and everything underneath done properly. And once that's done, then it's just a matter of last minute touch-ups, such as the cushions in this particular one, and any, maybe any little uh, parts that might be missing would be caught at this point. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This was the Tab 320 production line here at New Camp RV. For more information on this camp or any others, be sure to call. If you email or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. Any questions? Uh, if there's something else you'd like me to review for you, just uh, hit me up. My information, contact information will be down below this video. But I do appreciate you watching, and I'll be back at you again soon. Take care.